<laughs> there you have it, smoke rings. Uh, <laughs> a few more, but this uh, I did set Alex. I would, uh, I would uh, blow a few smoke rings in my next video. Just, uh, funnily enough, uh, smoke rings. Now I, I have to be honest with you and tell you that I started smoking cigarettes when I was twelve, and uh, and the person who taught me to blow smoke rings actually started smoking younger than I did. But uh, you have to get a good. You have to get a good head of steam. Now, the thing you'll notice whilst you're watching this video is that my lips and the, the sound uh, don't seem to be together now. Uh, David kindly uh, gave me a link. Now, I haven't really kind of worked it out yet. I tried with that old video this morning. <laughs> well, I put it through the thing, but it all got very complicated. And... Uh, and uh, <laughs> uh, and I and I, I, I but I am endeavouring because to be honest with you, I'm surprised nobody's mentioned this before to me because it my my video is kind of like a strange foreign film that's been badly dubbed, you know. There's some English guy in a studio somewhere <laughs> dubbing all of my videos. So, oh, uh, yeah, so anyway, I am endeavouring. This video will not be, uh, as I've not worked out, I'm not sure whether you have to kind of, I, I really don't know where to find the files. Once I've, I kind of did the Blakemore one, put it through the... Uh, the the uh, machine, the software that uh, David kindly pointed me to, and um, eh, well, anyway, I I'm I'm not very good with technical things. Uh, for those of you who are interested, I'm smoking my Sunday Cob pipe. Uh, it's um, it's made in Quebec, of all places. No more smoke. No more smoke rings. Um, it's um, yeah, it's made in Quebec. It's a nice. It only cost me a few quid. Uh, it's quite posh though. It's a Sunday cob pipe, though it's not Sunday. It's Tuesday. Obviously, before I go to church, I like to uh, because it's got a nice ring on it and things. I don't have my ordinary cob pipe. I have my Sunday cob pipe. So anyway, a few smoke rings. A few. Uh, yeah, if uh, if anybody, and I, I shall have to mail David and ask him um, how to work the blasted thing. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have another go with this. See if I can get it to, you know, all sync up. But uh, so it doesn't look like some strange uh, film festival foreign film dubbed into English badly. Uh, anyway, there you go. A few smoke rings. Yeah, I learnt, I was going to tell you, wasn't I? I learnt, so this little chap, his name is David Sard, he's dead now, sadly. Uh, I learnt how to blow them uh, from him. And it was a kind of rite of passage, uh, you know, being able to roll a cigarette as well was very much seen as you'd uh, moved on to a certain higher plane of smoking. And um, then being able to stick a little filter. In those days you couldn't buy filters for roll-up cigarettes, uh, used to make them yourself. I, I believe people who smoke uh, 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 jazz woodbines, shall I call them, uh, the same principle is you stick a small piece of the Rizla packet into the thing for a filter. And um, yeah, and blowing smoke rings was certainly uh, a, a right of passage. You know, funnily enough, it in 
probably when I'm smoking my pot. I do find occasionally blow a smoke. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, but uh, yeah, just makes you know, as you get older, and when you I hit my 40th birthday at the beginning of this year, I, I guess you kind of still want to make sure you've got it. <laughs> anyway, I am going to continue to endeavour with the technical difficulties, uh, and I very much appreciate uh, David, I very much appreciate and thank you for uh, helping me out with this, and I shall. You know, it takes me a while to get these things sorted out, but I will get it sorted out.